welcome back to another video. My name is Lucas and in today's video I just want to give you another update here from Taiwan. It is a strange time we live in. Countries have been in lockdown for months, shopping malls, cinemas and even entire countries have all been in shutdown. Disneyland is no longer the world's happiest place and Sweden out of all countries are being laughed at for not doing social distancing seriously and please remember Sweden is the country who has been laughed at for always doing social distancing from the beginning of time. And Taiwan just within a couple of months have gone from a country that no one dares to talk about to the country that everyone is talking about. And before we continue, can we just take a moment and applaud Ray Du and his campaign here. If there's anyone out there who does not know who Ray is, he is one of, if not the most popular YouTuber here in Taiwan. And he had this idea of a crowdfunding project. And now his ad is taking up a full pager in New York Times. And I think this ad is both hilarious, serious, and really gets to the point all at the same time. He has also created a website which is taiwancanhelp.us where you can see the ad and also see an entire timeline including Taiwan's actions, the corona outbreak and also the <clears throat> lack of action from the WHO. Isn't it fascinating how things can change? I mean when I grew up I'm not gonna lie no one talked about Taiwan and made in Taiwan was referring to bad quality and cheap plastic but now everyone that grows up in 2020 knows that made in Taiwan means medical aid and saved lives. Of course for us the foreigners living here in Taiwan for almost a decade for us this is nothing new we already know that Taiwan is amazing in more or less every single way and I do believe that I speak for a majority of all the foreigners here when I do say that we all love Taiwan and I do know that I speak for a majority of all the foreign youtubers here when I say that we do love to share our love for Taiwan as well but for years there has always been one question that seems to haunt us one question that never seems to get a definite answer and that question is is Taiwan safe now of course this question mostly refers to the time before the corona outbreak with examples like a low crime rate or that our moms family members, women, elderly, can just take a walk in the park, walking home after a night market, don't have to look behind their backs and don't need to worry at all. Or my own personal experience when I once forgot my iPad in a Shilin night market. Not only did I get it back, but the person who found it opened up the bag, logged into my iPad, which was not password protected because Taiwan, I uh, was able to find one of my new contacts which I named to Jonathan Taiwan because I didn't know his last name. Called Jonathan, gave him my description, was able to track me, get my phone number, called me back to the night market, informed me, who was totally clueless about the situation, that I had forgotten my dear, dear iPad in the night market and gave it back to me. So we who have the honor to live in Taiwan, we already know the answer to the question which is Yes, Taiwan is safe. However, this week, as of today, April 15th, 2020, and according to the website ourworldindata.org, I believe we can take that statement even further and claim that Taiwan is one of the safest countries in the entire world. Because Taiwan, located only 1,000 kilometers from Wuhan, has for the past 50 days been the country with the lowest cases per million people. And not only that, yesterday, April 14th, they reported zero new cases in Taiwan and they've only had seven new cases the entire week. At the same time, Sweden, with only 10 million people and 7,400 kilometers away from Wuhan, just reported its 1,000 death. And France, with over 15,000 deaths and over 9,000 kilometers away, just reported that they will continue their entire country lockdown for one more month. So while Taiwan remains at the bottom with a record low 395 cases, Sweden had 497 and France had 6,500 in one single day. So if anyone out there is still confused with what is China, and what is Taiwan, then China is where the virus started 
and Taiwan is where it, at least for now, more or less has stopped. I know we talked about this before, but I once again just want to highlight how spoiled we are here in Taiwan that we are able to live our lives pretty much exactly the same as before the outbreak. But it also feels super weird that we are still able to enjoy the outdoors and we can continue to explore and visit new places here in Taiwan when I know that most people watching from abroad are trapped inside and can't even leave their own houses. But it really is a team effort from Taiwan. It all starts with the strict actions and implementations from the government, which is all followed by the obedient Taiwanese citizens and companies. And I'm so embarrassed to say this, and I'm so ashamed that I even thought of this as an inconvenience. But the only thing, the only thing that has bothered me while living through one of the biggest global pandemics in our lifetime here in Taiwan, has been that I'm not able to use Face ID on my iPhone while wearing a face mask. Until today. So one of my friends showed me this hack and I just wanted to show it to you as well, just in case there's anyone out there who refuses to wear a mask just because of this super silly, stupid reason. You see, you may think that you can simply scan your face with the mask on, but actually your iPhone will not accept this because it will not recognize a face being scanned. So the trick is to only cover a quarter of your face with the mask, so half your nose and half your mouth is still being scanned. Then, after you've completed the scanning process, you will be able to unlock your iPhone wearing the mask. Moment of truth, let's see if it works. It works. It actually works. No more excuses, people. Just start wearing your mask. If your government says you don't need a mask, if your Ministry of Health says you don't need a mask, just wear a mask. Just remember that the Face ID very much still would only work with your face. So if you do happen to forget your iPhone at Shilin Night Market, then the Taiwanese person, who also will be wearing a mask, of course, will not be able to log in, find your contacts and help you out. That was everything I wanted to share this week. Please do me a favor, check out Ray Du's website, check out his YouTube channel, his Facebook, his Instagram. This guy deserves all the support and all cred he possibly can get. He is amazing. When he's not fighting for Taiwan during the corona outbreak, he actually makes some really good, funny, and interesting videos as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video and please remember Taiwan is helping.